What's up guys, this is Alex Louie again creating a second style video for you guys, a continuation of the first style video. So if you haven't watched the first style video, please start looking at that one first. Today I'm going to continue on with styling. A couple of new things that I've noticed people write in their programs when they submit them to me. And I, I didn't put them in my old style video, but I think I should put them in this style video. So the first thing that I've noticed is that a lot of programmers do this. So you say double num1 is equal to zero and then double num2 is equal to zero right and double sum is equal to num1 plus num2 okay this is not good I don't want to see this in your programs what you really you should do is you should say double sum is equal to 0, 0.0, .0 and then sum is equal to num1 plus num2. Why? Because it'll make it easier when we start using the IOMNIP library and we start using set width and set precision where I will only see this. I would see set width, let's say we do a set width of 10, right? And I do a sum and line, okay? I am only gonna be looking at the variables that you are manipulating with the uh, I am an IP library. So let me include it up here. I am an IP. Okay. Instead of me not looking at this, and I would look at num1 plus num2, it's just too messy if we have a bunch of, if we do this, this is no good. I don't want to see that in a CL statement, or I want. I don't want to see that in, a, in an actual declaration. You should have that as a process step, because it makes it easier for readability purposes on my end so this way when I see your C outs I'm only seeing variables I'm not seeing any type of calculations if I want to see the calculations and I would go to the process section and I'd look at your calculations the next thing that I want to go over is constants. so you can create declare constants in the main that's that's perfectly fine uh, but I do prefer them before the main so if you create a constant here and I'd say constant tax uh, actually we can say constant uh, size is equal to 50 okay then this constant is available all throughout your program not only the main okay so the only difference the only reason why I would like them up here is because when you start working with functions you will be declaring constants that will be accessible throughout your whole program not only in the main if I declare them in the main so if I take this Okay, and I put it in here. That's perfectly fine. It's going to compile. And even for this course, you're still going to be able to access the constant size. But in the future, when you're starting to write functions, size will no longer be available unless you pass it in as a parameter through a function. And that's why I prefer them, so any constant you're going to always use, to be outside of the main. Okay, now it's not wrong. I'm not going to take up points if you put it in here. Uh, it's just preferably I'd like to see them outside the main. That's all. The other styling guides is that your constants should always be capitalized. So I see a couple programs that hand it in. They're not capitalized, and that shouldn't be. So any constants should be capitalized. Any type definitions. So for example, if I do type def int um, integer, okay and I know that this particular variable okay or this particular type is a type type definition that you created that's that's how I know so when I see anything that's in capital I know that it's either a type definition or I know that it's a constant uh, that's another style rule so you need to make your constants or your type definitions as capital letters so then yeah so then you you have a type def as a uh, capital letters and then I can actually declare something integer in in or num3 right and I know the base type is obviously integer no formulas in your declarations and no formulas in your CL all, ca all variables that you declare, unless specified by the book that we're using, should be 
not capital should be all lowercase so for example if I do int uh, area of triangle okay actually it should be a double so that's acceptable right I can I can even take out the underscores and that, that'd be fine what's not acceptable is if you do something such as amount I don't want to see that that's called camel case and that's that's okay for other for programs that are throughout the net and people that that perhaps teach a different way. I, I just don't want to see that. I want to see everything lowercase because that tells me that it, it is a variable. Um, when you do comma case, usually you want to do that when you're in classes, when you're writing classes. So again, that's just my styling rules, and hopefully you are able to follow them. So that's that's it. I mean pretty simple pretty simple rules and with styling video number one I think it should be enough to not have any points deducted from your from your programs if you have any questions you can always email me at parttimeadjunct.gmail.com or check me out at www.parttimeadjunct.com or those of you that are my students you have my email or Skype thanks again see you next video